Hey guys, let's move on to our next topic on element appear on element vanish. This one more than your documentation, you need to do some practicals on it. So let's understand this through practical. So first of all, what I'm doing, I have dragged and dropped an on element appear activity. And here I am indicating it to a snipping tool button. Let's say new button. Okay. This is the button I have indicated. So if this button appear, so this definition clearly tells you if this appears, then it's going to perform the job. You can also read the documentation, which clearly tells you this is a container on element appear. Okay. This is a container that waits for a UI element to appear and enables you to perform multiple actions within it. Pretty simple one, right? Pretty simple one. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios. You will be confused. Okay, so let's see what are they. First of all, let's take a simple example. So what I'm doing, I have, uh, you know, I, let me close the snipping tool and I'm going to start this simple one, okay, where it's going to prompt hello. Let me debug it and continue because I'm going to show you some of the scenarios and you must test your knowledge. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so the execution has started. So what is happening? Because there is no snipping tool on my system as of now because I have closed it. It just wait for it will wait for 30 seconds because that is the timeout, right? Within that, let's say I am opening it. You can in increase the time. So now I have opened it. So what happened? The do block got executed and I see the prompt hello. So this much a general behavior. Okay, this is how it is going to work. Let's say I'm going to minimize and I'm going to again maximize. Is it going to work? Okay, let me first click on okay. Okay. So now again, it is waiting at the on element appear container. It's waiting there. Okay. So if it is kept it open, it's not going to count. It's not going to count. Let's say I'm going to minimize it and I'm going to again open it. So is it going to count? See, it's not working, right? See, I'm going to minimize and I'm going to once again open it. So, so it is only taking the first instance of the appearance of that application. So if I close it, let's say I'm going to close it and I'm going to reopen it. So I closed it and reopened. Now it will work. So this one point should be pretty clear. Now you can see it has worked. Okay, fine. Now let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so this much is the general behavior of on element appear. On element vanish is just the opposite. If it vanishes, then it will do the job. Just the opposite of this one. I am going to present some of the scenarios. Let's see how many of you can answer it. And I want you to comment immediately. Okay. Because anyways, I'm going to show you the answer. So otherwise, write it on a notepad or a notebook. What is your answer? So let's start. So I'm showing you the first one. So you understood what is on element up here. But for your preparation, I'm going to give you give you some more scenarios. Oh, why did it start? Let me stop it. So for, for your exam, I'm going to really show you some of the scenarios. And I want you to prepare on that. Okay. So let's start. Because you need to have complete understanding. Okay. So this is the scenario. First scenario. Okay, let's see how many of you can answer. So what do you see here? On element appear, same thing. Here I'm simply using a counter. Counter is equal to counter plus one. And then I'm going to write that. that. That's all, nothing else, okay? Now I'm also going to show you the property. So how is the property? Repeat forever is true. Repeat, repeat forever, what is the definition of repeat forever? Means enables you to uh, perpetually means constantly okay constantly repeat this activity um, uh, only boolean value true and false that means what is the meaning of this it, it is going to constantly monitor if the uh, going to appear so within the timeout period so if you have mentioned one hour then with the, for entire one hour it is going to repeat okay uh, it is going to check so timeout is let's say 30 second by default so within that 30 second it is continue to check so one can improve the timing now here repeat forever is true simple okay um so it is going to con constantly check now look at the variable i'm going to show you i'm not going to tell you the answer i'm simply going to show you the image so here you saw the image what is the value of the counter is zero now tell me now tell me you saw it right just take a close look you took the close look now the question for you the question is if I am going to open the snipping tool. Let's say I have opened the snipping tool once. Okay, so it is going to run. Let's say I'm going to close it and I'm going to uh, open it once again. Two times I'm opening. 
if i'm opening two times what will be the output okay so what would be the output how it will be written uh, one two or it will be written one one because anyways we got to know it is going to run two times okay so what would be the output one two or one one write your type your answer don't test it simply look at the screen and tell me the answer so what should be the answer one two or one one okay so let me tell you let me first execute okay i'll tell you i'll explain you let me first execute let me see how many of you can catch what why the answer is so and so okay so it's executing let, let me open the snipping tool once so it has got executed once okay so it has written one let me close it and i'm going to reopen once as per the condition i'm reopened twice so what happened it's going to write look at the output here in the let me close it okay so here what is the output one one let me stop this because it's going to throw on timeout error if i keep it um, let's say within that time frame i have opened twice and the output is one one not one two why okay okay i'll tell you the answer okay think if you know the answer please type okay let me show you another sequence i am going to talk about that answer okay look at this similar one here on element app here same thing no change and the same property also no change okay no change in the property now let me show you the variable look at the variable the default value is zero okay now tell me it's exactly same right so what is the output of this or is there some difference is there some difference or is exactly the same okay so you saw it okay so let me run it and see the output will it be the output will be one one or one two or one two three or one two three four okay check this output so now let me first open okay i'll maintain the same condition i've opened it once so it will execute okay so it is going to execute and it's going to write one okay then it will go back to the on element up here so let me close it and let me reopen it again so i have opened it once again so it's got executed but this time it has written one two now tell me why write your answer type your answer why one two so let me first tell you see th this is how you can be tricked you know about on element up here okay let me stop this so you know about on element up here but you are not able to answer it it might happen right so any given situation given uh, any any given situation is provided to you in the exam you must look at everything in detail okay so how why this one has the first sequence has given output as one one the reason being what is the reason why it has given one one if you look at the variable okay the variable has a scope of do and the value is zero because the scope is um, um do do block so what would happen here in this case it got executed okay give me give me a second okay so now uh, it got executed it got executed um but the val default value was zero so zero plus one it has written one then after executing executing where it goes it goes to the on element up here and then one when it comes again it again finds the default value of counter as zero so it is typing one one as the output but in the sequence two if you see carefully here i have given the scope to sequence so what would happen on the, until the sequence level it is going to remember whatever is happening within the sequence is going to remember so because it was going out of the do block it is forgetting again it is taking the initial value because i have given in the sequence label now it is remembering hey first it has written 0 plus 1 1 and then it went back to on element up here but still inside the sequence label so it still remember the previous value was 1 so 1 plus 1 that's why it is 2 see how tricky it could be it is pretty simple but you can be you can go wrong let me show you another another uh, let let me see how many of you can interesting right so let me see how many of you can really answer this okay let, let's get started look at it again carefully so what i have done here on element up here okay and uh, same thing there is no change now look at the property what is the uh, what is the difference in this property you see uh, repeat forever is true 
um, okay uh, and then variable is sequence okay let me do one thing I, I think I forgot to change this so if I'm going to change it to false okay repeat forever I'm going to change it to false okay now if I am going to open this snipping tool twice within that timeout time frame timeout time frame if I'm opened it twice what would be the output the output would be one or it will be two okay let's check that right type type your answer one or two or three or four type your answer I'm going to open same condition okay I'm going to open it twice but here the property repeat forever is false okay likewise you should practice all the things you should know see so I am going to open it first so I have opened it first so it is going to execute and I am going to close it okay now if I open it again it doesn't matter because you said false it is going to only do it once once the execution is completed within the timeout time frame so the output would always be one getting it so look at the output it is always going to be one if the repeat forever um, is written false so look at it see very simple one only when you have an understanding remember you will be able to answer so you cannot depend on any questions or anybody helping you no 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 you have to really practice so once you practice and you have the knowledge you can apply in any condition getting it so that is what it is the ui path exam it is going to really test your knowledge okay how much applied knowledge you have so this is one of the example and you can practice so many different things. let's say if you keep it active if you keep it wait for visible check what happens so check all of this you got a hint of it so try all these options um, and see what would be the output so thank you guys for watching let's meet on to our next video bye bye